Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, and this is Walter of Safety Harbor Firearms. Yes, and we have Patrick of Babyface P Incorporated Universally. And today we're talking about uh, 22 HK clones. Is that a good? Yeah, yes, we have. Good category to put it in. Walt, so this is all your collection. What's yep. the purpose, the reason? Um, I just bought as I felt necessary. Uh, one of the reasons I bought some of these that I did is because when HK sued uh, Numerex, I believe it was, because mm -hmm. their guns were too close to being HK-ish, I went ahead and got some of those too close to being HK-ish guns. <laughs> so um, I wanted to have them before they changed yeah. the design, so yeah. So like for, you know, when you're getting into the whole gun thing, especially starting young, I guess you start from like airsoft, things like that, work your way up to 22. 22s are very popular. There's times at SHOT Show and different shows where I saw all the young folks going towards these clones, right? Oh, yeah. So uh, that's probably the reason why they cut. Because they're cool movie guns. A lot of HK stuff was in movies. I think we could A lot cheaper. Say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. Uh, a lot cheaper. Yeah. Um, a lot of places you can't have uh, uh, SBRs and or machine guns. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, a lot of these youngsters uh, weren't around back pre-94 and stuff when the stuff was affordable and uh Is 22 available. easy to get now? Like 22 the ammo? ammo or the, yeah. yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's not a bad. little expensive, yeah. but you can get it. Yeah. yeah, it's way cheaper than... Yeah. It's not yeah. 37 cents a round or yes. 40 cents a round for 9 yeah. millimeter or something. Yeah. 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 And if you suppress it, it's yeah. nice. Yeah, they're so, fun. I mean, they're good, um, you know, also for younger folks, younger than uh, kids. For yeah. shooting kids and, and then females. Some females don't like... You know, a lot of them, so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's go one by one. Yeah, that does the. You ready? There you go. First up, we have the MP5 22K, MP5K 22. Yeah, uh, I yeah. thought this was going to be my favorite, and I like how it, the size and everything. Go ahead, Walt. I like it because it's, it's favorite because it's a fam it looks like okay. probably close to a real McCoy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Looks and feels yeah, like that. Yeah. Where'd you get it? Yeah. Um, I ordered one year. No, actually, I ordered it when um, HK was suing Umarex for uh, the design stuff, mm -hmm. and I figured I'd get a hold of those before they changed the dime. I think a lot of these some have a lot of pl more plastic parts on them. They do metal now, so mm. okay. That's why I wanted the metal ones. So let's change with this. Yeah. When we were shooting it, we ran into some issues. We probably got something stuck in there. We'll yeah. fix it later. Yeah. yeah we'll get a and that's kind of what happens here with 22. <laughs> so you need to make sure clean, lubed, all that kind of stuff. 22 is dirty. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The nine millimeter one works awesomely. We've all shot that. Yes. There are videos of it full auto. If yes. You look <laughs> so let's go to the next one. 416. 22. Pistol. Pistol. Yeah. Um, I ordered this guy when there was, I thought there was a, a change in the laws coming. So I said, let me get one of those before I decide those are not good. Now look at that was probably 10 years ago. Look what's going on. Wow. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So. I thought I wasn't going to like this one, but actually, this it's is my like, favorite. Yeah, my, I was going to say that. Favorite. This, this Why? My favorite. Why? Your favorite. Got a little heft, but it ran great. The magazine was easy to load. Awesome magazine. Uh, yeah, very easy to, it, to load. This was just a good, this is a good yeah. one. I, I mean, really it runs it. like a, you know, yeah, like, it's like an AR, AR right, right here. Yeah, just like yeah. that. Right, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Proof yeah. aiming so is cool. effective. But this magazine is not interchangeable like with the 223 stuff that's out there. We tried it. Uh, with the like conversion the, kits or the yeah. MP22. It's a separate mag. Yeah. And it works. So I really feel like this magazine is an easier magazine to load. It's just, you just, you can pull this down, you put it in, it's got its own rails and everything. So I feel like you're not trying to make sure it's in there properly. You're just pulling it down and loading it up. So, yeah. Uh, but a cool, a cool magazine. Loads works nice. great. Yeah. 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 Goes in there really nice. Where'd you right. get that from? Um, Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember where I got it yeah. from, but I probably had it for 10 years. Okay, yeah. long, long time. Yeah. Here it is. You're pretty nice. I actually kind of like this thing. Long time, Next up. So now we're going to. Uh, What's this? MP5 SD22. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, I actually 
this one ran good too. I mean, um, for com comfortable shooting, this one's a, a shoe win. But um, and for a cool looking. But I mean, you can think about it. There's just a it's, there's yeah, a barrel. Little, there's a barrel little, out there. Yeah. But um, <laughs> matter of fact, yeah. you know, hold that thing. Pat. And so this. Will it? Is it coming? Oh! Oh, nice. Do, 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 do. And then there's... Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, pretty as a... You know what? You know. That's yeah. a threaded <laughs> barrel. And so is this using your regular... Um, your regular 22... m and 22 mags. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, I, they look proprietary to the MMP, uh, yeah, not MMP, same to kind the of thing. MP5. Yeah, it looks like the Ruger ones, but not switchable. Nah, no, I don't no. think so. Yeah. No. Now, already locked the Umarex guns, the HK clones, yeah, one, one size fits all. Yeah, so nice we use this in, in like several of these one? different uh, ones that we had, including the Fire? K. Yep. Um, yeah, nice gun. We didn't have any issues really no. with it, did we? Nope, nope. that one worked great. Yeah. That one. You ever think about just chopping that down, like, putting oh, an actual... Oh, stuff yeah, 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 yeah. I had to take the barrel off and just yeah. vent it. Yeah. All I gotta do, and then just make it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are any of these like classics that you can't find anymore? Don't think so. No. I think they're all available still. Yeah. Okay. The prices are going up, but they're still out there. Yeah. So now this is what? Old school. MP5, right? MP5. Pistol. Pistol yeah. with a birdcage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it ran all right too. Um, it's got one thing about these Umarex guns a lot of times is that they got the heft of a real one. Yeah, they, they it's really not like it's made out of plastic and you pick it up and go, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's all right. Yeah. So use the same mags as the oh, other yeah. ones. Um, yeah, yeah, it ran fine. Yeah. Yeah. Not as easy to load as that other magazine, bang. but you can. It's get not too bad though. Yeah. Well, they all have. You can they all have the tab you can pull down. Yeah. Oh. While you're loading. Pull down on while you're loading. Yeah. Ease that pain of loading. But yeah. Um, so let me. So how many of these parts, Patrick, are interchangeable with like MP5s? I don't think. None. none? I don't think, none? None? I don't think really? anything. No. Maybe you could get this handguard to fit. Yeah. Maybe. The receiver right. shape is similar but different. Oh, different, okay. yeah. It's, okay, so it has to be different enough. It's all pretty the, different. Yeah. 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 Once you take it apart and you see how it's made, it ain't. It's nothing yeah. like an MP5. Yeah. So why the birdcage on there? On the oh, that's what that's, came with it. That's the, oh. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was different. So that no MP5s ever had a birdcage type had, thing. Did they it? did have a trilug adapted birdcage. Oh, they did. Uh, um, uh, for splash. I think they were trying to keep splash off their flashlights and stuff. Oh. Uh, um, we might see one of those later in a different video. Okay. But um, yeah, so you could have had that back in the day. Mm -hmm. Also another very cool one. What's the price range of all these? Like what's uh, a good, well, I know that's just, tough to say because prices are changing yeah, so rapidly. I would say probably these all starting at 455 range and go up. They're mm -hmm. they're not the cheapest 22s you can get. Okay. But they ran great. I have yeah. to say they actually ran pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I would agree with that. So. What was the whole thing about HK going after people? Is HK actually making their own 22s or? Well, back in the day, Umarex was making these, mm -hmm. and I don't think they were licensed, licensed yeah. per se. So mm -hmm. HK said, "No, it's too much like ours. You're gonna, we're mm -hmm. going to sue you." So Umarex changed it enough so it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And then things like this 416 are now licensed, fully licensed, licensed yeah, by right, Walther yeah. slash Umarex. Umarex. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's always it's fun to look at these and shoot them and stuff like that. So I just wanted to share that yeah. with the folks yeah. out there. Uh, where would someone go to look for this stuff nowadays? Is it all over? Do a Google search? Yeah, yeah, yeah just, not yeah. one place. Excuse me, a DuckDuckGo search. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, see yeah. what you can find. Yeah, yeah. it's out there. It's yeah. out there. Walter, personal favorite of these? Yes. I would pro once again. I, I really like the styling. I like the feel of the, the K. K. Of the yeah, K, K is yeah. always everyone's favorite. Um, I yeah. mean, I have a post sample K, and you know, everybody freaking goes batty when they shoot the. Yeah, the I, yeah. I just like how you know, and we're trying not to let the, these any of these fall into the thing here. But I like the folding, <laughs> yeah. the folder. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that nice little small package. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, in this case, small packages works nice. <laughs> Works nicely, yeah. but I agree with Patrick. I think um, from us shooting today, this will be yeah, four sixteen, the fun one, yeah. With a brace on the back, I think would be my oh, yeah. fan favorite. I yeah. thought about it. I, I think that'd be the way to do it. Yeah, I thought about it. Did anyone do like binary triggers or any kind of triggers for I these? Don't, no, no, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure. Those trigger yeah. assemblies in there are not like a drop-in thing. Mm. Yeah. So. This has a good weight on it too. I'm it assuming good. this is like an actual metal. Yeah, this is yeah, all metal. Yeah, it's yeah. all yeah, aluminum and die cast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, they share very. They're very similar. Like these sights, you could put these sights on. That would function probably yeah. just fine. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let us know out there what you guys think about this. Do you have a collection of these? 
Do you want to have a collection of them, right? <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, you know, what, which ones would you like to own, Babyface? Oh, I would. Walter owns it all. No, if that. I were buying, if I were out looking for one, it'd be a 416, and then I would get the adapter to brace it. Okay. Oh, and I'd probably take this off and put one of the cans on a real can. Put a real can on the front. Yeah. yeah, with a 22. Yeah, it'd be super quiet. Yeah, it'd just be so much fun. Yeah. You know, you could have fun. You could go after squirrels, but also Very act quiet. like you're James Bond. Yes. <laughs> yes. This little boy, yeah. this little guy right there, be uh, even if. Well, anyways, <laughs> long, longer barrel. <laughs> simple, simple drilling a barrel and using an empty tube on a 22. You'd be amazed what it does. Yes. Don't do that at home. No. <laughs> yeah, we're not recommending that. Yet. We do not recommend. Yeah, we that are home. professionals here, just so everyone knows. All of us professionals, yeah. sort of in some kind of way. So uh, yeah, don't do this at home. Yeah. So here's what I would recommend everyone do: go check out Safety Harbor on YouTube and all social media. Safety Harbor Firearms. As well as you've got like uh, Stengun. Stempars.com, and yeah. then uh, yes, and then uh, let's go to this guy. Yes, where can people find YouTube.com/slash/babyfacep? Lately, uh, more so on Instagram, uh, baby underscore face p. Mm -hmm. I'll have content coming out. I've, I've been in a wall, but more stuff will be coming out. Yeah. So go to uh, his Instagram and tell him to get his act together <laughs> and make more stuff. <laughs> so, and then the same thing for us, you, you know, you can find us obviously all over the place. However, if you want to see the three of us hanging out, talking about this kind of gun stuff. Monday nights. Yes, we do the Who Moved My Freedom podcast, WMMF podcast. And we actually go live now from Utreon. Yes. U-T-R-E-O-N. And that way we can handle guns while we're live. And yes, show, yes. Show and whatever up. else we want to touch. It's a lot yes. more fun. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, big thanks to Lola behind the camera here. We'll see you guys. Oh, and by the way, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. We're doing this January 1st. Yeah, 2022. 22 for 22s. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. We're out. Peace. See ya. Make sure to check out hamstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.